Hi, in today's video, we're going to install a Humminbird Helix 5 on my snowmobile. some of you folks are thinking, Steve, why in the heck would you put a hummingbird on your snowmobile? Well, up here in Michigan, we have this thing that's called winter. We can no longer get out fishing with our boats. Everything is turned to ice. We rely on a snowmobile to get us to those same points. We're able to import from our other hummingbird to this hummingbird those same exact waypoints. Also, being able to find your trail back safely to shore is important, especially when it starts snowing and you can't see shore anymore. So I'm going to get started mounting this thing, this Hummingbird Helix 5, onto my snowmobile and I'm going to take you along and show you the steps needed in case you want to do the same exact thing. The components needed for this installation is obviously the electronic of your choice, in my case the Hummingbird Helix 5, a universal ram mount, a Hummingbird gimbal mount, a Humminbird power cord. This particular one is a power cord lettered PC10. You're going to need some nuts, bolts, washers, some screws, and some battery terminals. The first step is mounting the Humminbird gimbal mount to the universal ram mount using these nuts, bolts, and washers. Then I'll mount the Humminbird Helix 5 into the gimbal mount position it on the dash of the snowmobile, then using these screws, attaching it to the dash, followed up with a power cord down to the battery using these terminals. Next thing you do, you put your Humminbird into the gimbal mount. Some might call this a cradle. Um, and then you'll, if you listen, you'll hear it click. Those are locking positions. This is just temporary, so we'll tighten these nuts down on both sides just a little bit so it still can be moved to the position that we like. Once we put it on the snowmobile dash and see what we like the best as far as view. I've decided that this is the best place for me to mount this uh, unit. It still gives me a clear vision of speedometer, tachometer. It doesn't obstruct the steering at all. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this down, run the power cord to it, and fire it up here shortly. brought the power cord out of the back of the Humminbird. I drilled a hole right next to the base through the hood. Wire comes through the bottom of the hood, wraps around to the existing loom, that's a electrical loom where all the other wires are, inside that loom and exits the battery. Wiring is completed. We should be able to turn it on.
Yep, it works. It's just that easy. We now have a Hummingbird Helix 5 mounted on the snowmobile, ready for ice fishing season. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're about to do one of these yourself, it's really simple, it's easy to do. I wanna thank you for watching, and until the next time, take care and God bless.